A portion of today's video is sponsored by Car Gurus. This is gonna be his first time driving. <laughs> hey, what are you guys doing? Today we got all of our cars out, even a monster Ford Raptor truck, because today is a huge milestone as a parent. I'm going to teach my son how to drive, and he is going to start thinking about what car he is going to get when he turns 16. First of all, I need to say that times have changed a lot. When I was a kid and I turned 16, I didn't think we'd be able to afford having a car and my parents bought me a really cool 1988 Jeep Wrangler that had like a big lift on it. It was old, it broke down a lot, but I was incredibly grateful for it. Obviously, you guys know, we've been on YouTube for years now and we've done a lot of Tesla content. We've been able to buy some cars like the Tesla Roadsters that are super cool, but they're more of like an investment that are gonna be something that we hold on to. And yes, Lincoln is a YouTuber. This channel started as a second grade science project that was Lincoln's second grade science project. We still have a year until Lincoln turns 16. He started this YouTube channel. He should be able to get a car when he turns 16 and have something to drive, whether it is a $5,000 car or a Tesla Model 3. I'm excited to see what kind of car he wants and to see which thing we can get because obviously not everybody has the means especially in today's day and age to be able to afford having a car when you turn 16. Let's see what Lincoln thinks about our current cars that we have and see what kind of car that he might want to get in the future and then give him a little driving lesson. Lincoln, how many times have you driven a car? Zero. I have never driven. I've never like sat in the front seat. Nothing. <laughs> the closest you've gotten to driving is probably a golf cart at the golf course. Yeah, I'd say I drive a golf cart almost every day. And you're pretty proficient at that. Sometimes yeah. you uh, get a little crazy on it. Makes me a little concerned, but anyway, <laughs> we have our red Roadster, which is awesome. It looks so good. That could be a nice car to drive to high school in next year. I couldn't trust myself to drive in that. No? It's okay, what about nice. the blue one then? I could drive the blue one. What? Why the blue one and not the red one? Because The like blue one's nice too. It's two seats, you can't fit golf clubs in it too. So I'd have you to You can like fit golf clubs in the back. No, you can't. Yeah, I've done it. Eric Anders Lang did it when he was two. here. You can't fit That's two. true. What about this car with the Falcon wing doors, the Tesla Model X? There's no way I drive one of these cars. Tesla is one of the safest cars in the world. Yeah, they're also very nice and expensive. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well how about this? This is Jonathan, our builder. It's his Ford Raptor, it is matte white. Yeah. It is beautiful it and it's amazing. a monster truck. It's a monster truck. <laughs> <laughs> it really is. Like you will yeah. never get stuck in this car. You could be at the sand dunes. You could be wherever. This thing is going to be fantastic. I think it is. So we need a little help from you guys. What car should Lincoln get when he turns 16? I mean, we have about a year. He just turned 15. In the state of Utah, as long as you're 15, you can take a test and you get your learner's permit. So Lincoln has a learner's permit. Yep. He is approved to learn how to drive and drive on the street. So today we are going to take this Ford Raptor monster truck I think that's gonna be the one. We're gonna go and let him drive it, but we need your help. What car should Lincoln have when he turns 16? What should he drive to school in? Let's go find a giant parking lot and let's test it out. Let's see how Lincoln can do. This is not made up for YouTube. This legitimately is going to be his first time ever driving a car. Yeah, I'm very nervous. I really don't wanna crash Jonathan's car. He said it's okay, he has insurance. Good, good, <laughs> good. <laughs> Check this out. It's so high that when you pull on the handle, a step stool comes out for you. So you can like step up on it and get inside of it. I mean, even then, this feels like a lot higher than most cars. It's not higher. Yeah. Are you ready to drive, Lincoln? I don't know. Maybe, I hope so. Go get, actually, I'm not gonna let you drive yet. No, I'm not. Let sure. me drive on the streets. We're gonna go to a parking lot for you. Yeah, we're gonna keep this safe. <sighs> Let's go somewhere safe for Lincoln. We are inside of the truck. We are ready. This is the place. Lincoln, um, time to switch seats. Okay. This is gonna be his first time driving. This is actually really exciting. And I love that we're doing it not in my car. All right, buddy. First time. Yes. Get in. <laughs> my knees hit the steering wheel. You need to move the seat up a little bit? Yeah, I'm really short. <laughs> Why do I see so much of the, the like, hood of the car? You do see a lot of the hood. It's yeah. not like a golf cart where it's just a road right there. Yeah. Can you reach the pedals? Yes. I am touching them. It's scary. <laughs> okay, Lincoln, two hands on the wheel at 10 and 2 o'clock. Do you know what that means? As if this was a clock, you'd put your hands where 10 o'clock and 2 o'clock are. There you go, 10 and 2. Hands on the wheel and... 
This portion of today's video is sponsored by CarGurus. It's a website that I really do like and I recommend for people that are looking to buy a car, whether it's new or used. The thing is, smart car shoppers know that CarGurus can help you find a good deal on a car, but now CarGurus can help you with financing also. With CarGurus Finance in Advance, car shoppers can get a personalized financing offer and see their real monthly payment before contacting the dealer. Other sites give you estimates, but why would you settle for estimates when you can get real personalized rates? There's no impact to your credit scores and it only takes minutes. Car shopping is stressful enough, so why wait till the end to figure out financing options? When you use Finance in Advance, you can contact the dealer confident knowing that you have your finance offer in hand. One of the reasons why I really liked CarGurus is because they have a rating for every car based off of how good of a deal you're getting. It could be a great deal or it can be an overpriced deal and it shows you the different ratings on there. And only 30% of the cars get the highest rating. So when CarGuru says that you're getting a good deal, you can rest assured that it is. With all that being said, find your car and find your financing at CarGurus today. Thank you to CarGurus for sponsoring this part of the video and now on to our regular content. Lincoln, there's one very important thing that you have not done before you drive this car and test it out. What? What do you think it is? Put it into drive? Ooh, you do need to put it in drive, but not yet, even before that. Wear a helmet. You do not wear a helmet. You wear a seatbelt! Yeah. Yes! Safety is not first. A lot of YouTubers are like, safety first, safety first. I'm like, safety isn't first, but it's definitely in the top five. When it comes to driving, safety definitely can be first. And I don't have a seatbelt on, so don't put it in drive. Everybody in your car, okay. you need to be aware of the people that are in your car, not okay. just you. I gotta be honest, it's really cool seeing you in the car. I'm very scared. Like, I'm excited for you to drive. I yeah, think you're gonna be, be really safe. Nice. And you'll be good, but you're also gonna have fun. Like, go to the course, do the things that you wanna do, yeah. and be mobile. mobile. So I'm excited. Oh, here we go, baby! That's a wide lens. Put your foot on the brake. Always have your foot on the brake. Why? When you put it into gear. Why? because if you put it in a drive and, and it starts like going. Moving, yeah, then so. it's like the golf carts that are like. <laughs> yeah, right? this, is, uh, this is like a 70 or $80,000 car. So let's be careful with this and it's not ours. One thing I'm gonna tell you, Lincoln, see how you've got your left foot on there? Yeah, I won't wear right. Never foot. use your left foot when you drive. It makes it really tricky. So get rid of that. Just use your right foot. There you go. And you can go back and forth. Okay, so yeah, put your foot on the brake, push on yeah. it. Okay, now push this, grab this. Yeah, I think How, you. Like all the way down? I mean, with enough, that, yeah, just okay. a decent amount. And then you go like. They push the button, there's a trigger on it. And you pull the trigger and then you push Whoa. it, pull it back to the D. D for drive. I can't tell. And you can look on the screen and it shows you too. That's fancy. Okay, right now you are in drive. Yeah. So once you let off the brake, it's automatically, just put your feet, hands on the wheel, Whoa. Whoa. hands on the wheel. Do you see how it's moving? Yeah, it's moving when you put, put off the brake. <laughs> okay. It's like, okay. Okay, we're gonna drive straight ahead and go around that and through the parking lot. Alrighty. Go. That's yep. a big turn though. Go for it. Let it foot off the brake, push on the gas. Okay. Oh goodness. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's <laughs> quick. It's fast. <laughs> it's not like a golf cart. It's fast. Okay. Goodness. Goodness. Oh, whoa, brakes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're driving! Yeah! Okay, do it again, pull around. Do you feel like there's a bit of a delay? Yeah. That's that's what happens on gas cars. Oh, yeah. Is the, they, there's the a brakes. bit of a delay. I'm like, I try to push down as like slow as possible. Oh, that's so weird. I'm like barely touching it. Please. Yeah, oh, he's changing it up a little bit here. Be circling gotta, around a different turn, way. You gotta turn to the right this time because okay. I can't oh, see yeah. over there. Right hand turns. The steering wheel is so nice because you just let go and it just like goes back into your hands. Like it's a start. It oh goes my back goodness. to straight. Yeah. Yeah, you're a little touchy on the brakes. <laughs> the brakes are different. Every car is different with brakes too, so. Give it a lot of um, gas and go kind of fast for just a, just a halfway to that and then stop. And then stop. Like Don't there. hit the wall. Like just stop and then we'll turn right. Just give it some more gas this okay. time. Go. 
it squeals. <laughs> it's kind of fast already. We're like, you got it down. <laughs> what is this? this is not a part of a driving lesson. But you do need to control a car and learn how to control it if something happens or you step on it. A Tesla, I think if you take off traction control, you can do some of this. That's one thing in a Tesla I've never done is track mode in a Model 3. I need to do that someday. Do they not have an S? They don't have that, no. They only have it in the Model 3, which is kind of crazy. So I think they're gonna do a refresh on the S. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> We're getting in trouble now. We got the missionaries coming. We're in the church parking lot. Yep. They're about to get you, Lincoln. Yeah, they are. I'm gonna be like, what are you doing driving in my <laughs> church parking lot? <laughs> What's up, guys? Hey, what are you guys doing? Teaching him how to drive for a YouTube video. Nice. This is way cool. <laughs> are we in trouble right no. now? No, you're totally good. <laughs> Lincoln, <laughs> let me see your license and registration, please. <laughs> not that old yet. <laughs> look at this, guys. You know it's serious when it's not even in the English language. I mean, look at that one. That's a different language than that one. This is serious. I'm trying to get our mission into cinematography. Oh, cool. Woo, good news. We are not in trouble. They were just some nice, friendly missionaries that wanted to say hi and, and chat. That's their job. They're just some kids on a mission. I used to be on a mission, fun fact, in the Philippines for two years for my church. So kind of cool to see missionaries, usually between the ages of 18 and 25 years old, spending their own money and their own time to go on a mission and serve other people. So I don't know. I'm always nice to them. They're supposed to be in Singapore. One of them was in Singapore and one was in Madagascar. And then because of COVID and all that was happening, they had to come and get reassigned, so they came, they got reassigned here to Southern Utah. So kind of crazy how different the times are right now. So where would be a place that you would want to go on a mission? Somewhere in Europe would be cool. Yeah? Like French or something, or like that kind of speaking mission. That like would be Europe. cool. Anyway, we didn't expect to have that as part of our video. Yeah. But here we are. We don't talk about that very often in our videos. Okay. We survived. Jonathan, your truck is not wrecked. We lost some rubber on the road. <laughs> I think you almost have money for that. But thoughts, Lincoln, this is the question. What kind of car or truck do you, what's like your dream car or truck that you would get when you turn 16? Like, I mean, I think that like having a Model 3, like that's such a nice car. But like, that is a nice car. That's expensive and it's safe. It's safe and all, but like, yeah, I don't know. That would be cool. A Tesla Model 3 is a good, safe car. It's, when it comes to Teslas, it's pretty cost effective. If the new battery cell technology is out by then, there's word that it might get down to $25,000 for a Tesla Model 3, so I do like that idea. Yeah. What I like to hear about from Lincoln is that he's not really saying that he wants like a Lamborghini or a Ferrari or like a Colby Sheldrum Mustang. I just want to have something <laughs> that like, has like a decent stereo. That's pretty good. Cool. <laughs> decent stereo, priorities. We definitely have a lot more to teach him. I do like that they give you one year as a learner's permit because then we can go out and do some lessons on. He didn't even use his blinker once when he turned here. He doesn't even know what the rule is for sit to turning your blinker and turning. What I happens forgot at a, that. Yeah, yeah I you forgot did, about that. What happens at the intersection with a left-hand turn or a right-hand turn? Lincoln, you want to drive home? Nope. Okay, good, because no. I wasn't going to let you. <laughs> You're not ready for that. You can barely survive a, a church parking lot. <laughs> so an experienced driver peels out. Yeah, I Don't was, try this at home. Kids. I wasn't that ready. <laughs> I would say you owe Jonathan about $200 for all that rubber that you lost off of his tires. Yeah, you think so? It's mobile. Mobile, like you're not stuck to the house. You can move around. I mean, that's like confined, not mobile. What? Mobile. Mobile. Mobile mean you- You said mullable. Mullable. Mullable? Yeah, that's what you said, not mobile. <laughs> Replay the footage, did I say mullable? Do the things that you want to do. Yeah. And be mobile. And be, be mobile. You said mobile. mobile. You definitely said mobile. Yeah. Okay, maybe I said, uh, maybe I did. Colby Sheldrum Mustang. 